After some determined attempts, the Voices Project became a groundbreaking reality for Dr. Rose Alman McDonald and all those involved. This is the first time a project like this has been executed in an Indigenous community. From the national perspective, uh, children and youth as part of the Indigenous population are the highest at risk in Canada. The Voices Project works as a roadmap designed and navigated by Akwizaslono youth in discovering community safety concerns. The children and youth ultimately become champions for a safer Akwizasne, working side by side with community leaders in creating an injury prevention wake-up call. We talk to the kids, you know, we, we talk to them about their lived experience, you know, living in the community and what do they see as risk and protective factors. It was really nice to see the kids participate, get on the bus and go out with the chiefs and with the police officer and for their voices to actually be heard. I really liked it because it was teaching us how to be safe and I would like to thank the whole entire program because that was a very good program for us to learn. And I think every student should be able to be able to learn that. My favorites were fire safety, ice safety, and ATV safety. I really like the CPR safety when the ambulance came in and taught us CPR. Most important for me is that it gave them an opportunity to have a voice in their community, a voice in the changes that they saw were necessary. Moving forward, it is the hope that the Voices Project will create a ripple effect, that the kernels of concern brought to light by the children of Akwizasne will transform into solutions and a safer community. Hearing the children's perspective on this is, is very helpful. So, you know, uh, working with the police services who does outreach and talks to children about safety, you know, is extremely important and, and to be able to identify the, the, the areas that the children identify. Canada has, has not made injury prevention a priority. And it definitely has not made injury prevention a priority for Indigenous peoples. And that's where we get the high rates of disabilities. That's where we get the high rates of death, you know, uh, amongst Indigenous children and youth and families. And then we're starting with our little fifth and sixth graders. You know, they're gonna be our future leaders. Having the curriculum now, the curriculum which was refined over time, um, it's available to us now for use in our schools, so it doesn't have to stop here. So you know, I'll go to all of our partners who have helped make this a wonderful, uh, successful project. You know. And also a big you now go to the University of British Columbia, Dr. Ian Pike and Dr. Allison McPherson from York University and Dr. Emily Wello, she was the one that was developing the curriculum with us. I just wanted to thank Ambi and Donna Lahash for bringing this program to our school, um, Mohawk Council's Grand Chief and Council for supporting this program, the Voices Project team. Hopefully, you know, going forward, uh, you know, we'll be able to uh, pick up this uh, process through the curriculum development and uh, have those regular sessions where we take the children out and, and talk about and look at some of the risks and some of the mitigations that we have done through the community to keep them safe. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.